I'm Jordan here and I'm here with uh, my name is Basio. And uh, I had a question for you, which is basically, um, what do you know about June 9th? So yeah, I'm Jeremy and I'm here with Corey. Corin, hey, yeah. Uh, we were curious, what do you know uh, about if you know what June 9th is? It? No, I do. <laughs> you do not. Oh, shoot. Okay. Juneteenth. It's, uh, if I remember correctly, it was when uh, the last slaves found out when they were freed, and I believe they we were from somewhere in Texas, if I'm not mistaken. What do I know about June 19th that celebrates the day that former slaves in Texas learned that they were actually free already? Right, 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 right. And June 19th, I think, is really celebrating a lot of black history that hasn't ever been expressed or showed, especially in a lot of whitewashed education. Um, I'm an education major, and we talk a lot about how um, black history has really been kind of just never talked about and never expressed, and June 19th is really just about bringing that history up in front and really making people acknowledge it. Connor. Michelle. Okay, sweet. Uh, so the basic question is, uh, what do you know about June 19th? Oh, it became a national holiday today, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's it. And then, yeah, what, do you have an opinion about that? Like, how do you feel about that? Fully supported. Fully supported. Fully supported. Why? Well, I mean, it's got a lot of historical significance. And, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sweet, sweet. What do you support it? I think there's not a lot of days to celebrate um, a lot of people who have experienced and is still experiencing oppression and the short end of the stick of this not that great society <laughs> and I think it just brings awareness and challenges other people to think of what position that they're in and what position that they have to give up or they're not giving up yeah sweet thanks for your time totally agree with her <laughs> yeah thanks for attending of course i think it's great i just hope we don't make it into another holiday like that becomes just a shopping day and another day off work and stuff i hope we really remem remember what it stands for and how important it is uh, a few people are curious to uh, how come it's taking you know this long for it to become a holiday. What do you oh think? Oh my God! How long? How come it took this long to, for us to make any progress doing anything? I have to say I'm kind of ashamed. And, I mean I've known about it for a, for a few years, but I never learned about it when I was growing up. And I I grew up in the South and I never never heard of it. So I I'm glad we know about it now. Sweet sweet yeah. Germain. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, what was your name? Violeta. Pablo. Pablo? Yeah. Where are you guys from? Spain. Spain. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Hey, uh, we were just curious if you guys know anything about June, June 19th. Oh, uh, well, we know it's a holiday and we are really happy that Biden just signed that bill. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a federal holiday. So we're Right, right. It's becoming a holiday lately. Yeah. But, like, do you know anything about that? Yeah, sure. I mean, we know the reason why it is a holiday is because it's the day that the last slaves knew that they were free, so that's, yeah, that, it's amazing that it's being recognized as a yeah. federal holiday and that everyone can do something to learn about that. To celebrate, yeah. yeah. And I guess the most important question is like, how do you feel about it? Um, or like, yeah. We feel great that it's being recognized as that um, as something important that people should know about and should educate themselves and the community about. So yeah, we feel great that yeah. it's being recognized and celebrated. I totally agree with, with my, my wife. I think it's important to the people can learn about the, the, the problematic in the US in the past and, and try to fix things, do, don't do the same errors. And, well, I right, think it's right. a good opportunity. Since you're like from a different place. Mm -hmm. Well, actually I actually think it's like from in the news and uh, in our day-to-day -day life, we uh, acknowledge the problems that have been arising the last year here in the USA and it's something that we talk about and that also allow us to see ourselves in that kind of problematic and also talk about what's going on in Spain and what we, what we can do about it there. So I think the things that are bringing up here affects us there, yeah. 
Sweet. Thanks for your time. Sure. Thank no you. No problem. Yeah, have a good day. Bye. Bye. And what do you know about it? Uh, I mean, it's a you know, it's a great acknowledgement of a time and uh, a change in our country. And you know, obviously, the time in the South learned of you know everything that happened. So you know, I think it's a really a really good thing to acknowledge, and uh, I think it's it's pretty nice. Yeah, I, is, is that basically how you feel about it becoming a holiday? I have a whole lot other feelings that I'm not going to get into right now, but... Okay, uh, so June 19th is, is basically the day the slavery ended down in Texas. Oh, shit. And, yeah, and lately, uh, as of this year, it's now a federal holiday. How do you feel about that? The, I mean, that's the, I'm glad that that's over with and stuff like that. That's awful, dude, and stuff like that. And it's a holiday. That's good. I mean, just want to get your opinion. How do you feel about that? I mean, I feel like something good because, like, you know, when the day like the slaves ends, then it's something good. You know? I don't know.